We thank you one and all for your attendance and your support of Swept's Western Shootout too. Lua about to swing, they're ready to go. Eagles versus Dockers, Swept's Western Shootout 2, they're off. Missing it was Desert Black, Linda Roxy flew out of the boxes, went straight to the front. Linda Roxy out of the stretch for the West Coasters. Out by six links over Desert Black as they work through the catching pen. Linda Rocky, Roxy trying to avenge last year, is out by four, five links, but here comes Desert Black. Desert Black might have a ticker, it's coming quickly. Off the back, Linda Roxy out by three, Desert Black coming after it quickly. They turn Linda Roxy, here's the Dockers. Desert Black, Desert Black goes to Linda, Roxy Dockers again, Dockers again, Hell's freezing over, they've found one with a ticker and it's got the money. And that was the last time we saw a match race here in WA back in 2006 in a charity race with the Eagles v the Dockers. And we saw Desert Black representing the Dockers and Lindell Roxy representing the Eagles. A very unbiased Craig Evans to call the dogs home there in that charity event. That was 15 years ago now. And this Saturday, we see a match race between Vice Grip and Fernando Starr. That race does come up a bit late in the card. Race 9 at 9.36pm. And Vice Grip drew Box 1 in the Full Dog Final last week, but comes up with Box 3 here. I think either draw would have been fine as he's got that speed. And Fernando Starr comes up with the Cherry draw. He absolutely pinged out last start in the Four Dog Final. Let's see if he'll do it again from the pole. I was lucky enough to have a chat to trainer Adam Smithson in regards to Vice Grip in the Two Dog match race this Saturday. And here's what he had to say in regards to where he'd like to draw. I don't think it, it really does matter that too much. He's, you see the run on Saturday night. He, he tends to take a step right out of the boxes. So... Either way, I wouldn't be disappointed drawing either way. So it's not really going to make or break the box draw. He doesn't really know. There's only one other dog. He just thinks it's another race. So we'll head into that with the same preparation as we do sort of every other week. And yeah, we'll just see how we go. And that was Adam Smithson on Greyhound Gossip this Monday, having a chat to Peter O'Neill and myself. We also had special guest Linda Britton on from the Chris House Kennel tell us a bit about Fernando Starr in the match race. And she had a bit of a different opinion in regards to where she would like Fernando Starr to draw. I think it's going to be hard. Um, just knowing that Vice Group has run such a good time and um, he's probably got to find two or three lengths. I think it'll be interesting to see where they're drawn because uh, Vice Grip's definitely got off the track a little bit from the red last week. If he can lead, in some sort of hope. But, um, yeah, and he should improve just a little bit on that, knowing, you know, like it's, it's only his second, third run up over the 5.20 for a while. So um, we're just happy to be there and where he's got to and, you know, let's hope uh, it'll be a, a good race. I think just looking at Vice Grip, he came off a little bit and, you know, Sir Monty was... Pretty unlucky on Saturday night because he got squeezed in the middle. Um, um, so just thinking he might be better. He's, he does go well from out wide, but he might just get a clearer run from the red. That is definitely a race worth staying up for, even though it is a little bit later in the night at 9.36 there at Cannington on Saturday. Good luck to both Fernando Starr and Vice Grip. That is not all that's happening at Cannington. We do have two heats of the Anniversary Cup and got Valachi back in the winner's circle last week and won by a huge six and a half lengths. Let's take a look back at that run. And Valachi drew out of box eight here and stayed out wide on the track in the initial stages but managed to cross and find the rail ahead of Rippin Willie and continues to put the lengths on in the back straight. He comes off that final bend and it was all over with a massive win in 29 and 70. It's really good to have Valachi back on track and he does come up here in the first heat of the anniversary cup. Let's take a look at this field and Valachi's drawn out of box two. Brazil Manelli has drawn the pole whilst Destruction and West Ombre are out wide in boxes seven and eight. There is a ton of speed in this race, so the question is who leads? And it could get a bit messy early, but Valachi does look the goods with this inside draw. Will be really interesting to see what the markets say, but there should be a bit of value in this race, seeing as there isn't one standout chance. But yes, Valachi looks the goods in that inside draw. This is a very strong 
heat here in heat one. Let's take a look at the second heat and here is the box draw. Momentum gets a wide draw here alongside Sir Monty. So both Greyhounds get their chance to bounce back into the winner's circle after the four dog finals last week. Archibald is drawn the two and in most occasions I would say is a great draw for him but in this instance he's got Weston Mia drawn to his left out of the cherry and she likes to use a bit of the track and will likely step right which means a possible butting of the heads here between Archibald and West on Mia. I think Sir Monty and Momentum have done well to stay clear out of that in boxes 6 and 7. So that will be a very exciting heat as well. Heat 2, two heats of the Anniversary Cup this Saturday at Cannington. But it is not all about Cannington this week. Don't forget we have two heats of the Express Stakes down at Mandra this Friday. Both are seven dog fields. And we take a look at the first heat, Santa's Magic comes up for his fourth consecutive win and has a PB of 22 and 40 here. Ruby Doobie has been chasing in great form and has a good draw here out of box two. I think the inside draw will suit her to perfection. And in the second heat, I think City Manelli should come out as the race favorite and he is drawn box six and is quick at box ride. So I think will be the one to lead, but Bella can browse should be the one to challenge him for the front here. So they'll be vying for the lead, Bella Can Browse and City Manelli. But both look to be very interesting heats of the Express Stakes down at Mandra this Friday. Now we swing our attention back to Cannington as we are racing there tonight in Wednesday evening racing. And my best bet comes up in race two, number five, Wag Tail Demon. Now always a bit of a risk tipping a lemon draw dog, but I'm going with Wagtail Demon as he's had the three starts over the 380 here at Cannington and with two seconds and a third, I think that's a pretty good record and he's ready for his win. I think he's going to be the Greyhound in this field with that early speed to find the lead as there's not too much pace in this race. So he should set up nicely for victory here. Race two, number five, Wagtail Demon. And that is my best bet. A lot happening this week at both Cannington and Mandra. We hope to catch you on track.